Lawmakers on Capitol Hill heard from victims of sexual assault in the military, including Bridgette McCoy. McCoy was 18 years old when she signed up to serve her country in the first Gulf War. She says while staying in Germany, an officer she worked with sexually assaulted her. The year that I was raped, that same year I was raped again by another soldier in, in my unit. Service members file about 3,000 sexual misconduct complaints every year, but the Defense Department says most attacks go unreported and the actual number is close to 19,000. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand is chairing today's hearing. The scourge of sexual violence in the military should be intolerable and infuriating to all of us. Lawmakers say women in the military are more likely to be victims of sexual assault than be killed in combat, and most cases are never prosecuted. Advocates say a recent case at a U.S. Air Force base in Italy reveals another problem. Pilot James Wilkerson was convicted of sexual assault, sentenced to prison and discharged from the military. But his superior, Lieutenant General Craig Franklin, decided to overturn the conviction. Congress is now considering legislation that would strip commanders of that power, but victims say more needs to be done and the culture in the military needs to change. Tara Merchiner for CBS News, Capitol Hill.